Hi everyone, this is Tanner here, and as many of you know, I'm a huge Mario fan. So today, I'll be doing a 3D Mario game tier list where I'll be ranking each of the 3D Mario games that I've played in tiers from S, A, B, C, and F. So I'll basically explain each tier and kind of what they mean. I think S is excellent. These are 3D Mario games I think really got the theme down, the right feel. They're some of my favorite Mario games ever. A tier is really great. They're games that are really close to being fantastic. However, they have one or two elements holding them back. B is good. They're fun, enjoyable games. Um, C is okay, and F is bad. So I want to go in order of release. Starting off with Super Mario 64, which I'm going to put in A tier. Now, Mario 64 has a lot of great things going for it. The game looks pretty good first time, and I still think it has this really neat design that holds up very well for the age it has kind of nostalgia the soundtrack is fantastic um overall the way mario moves i think is cool and the camera i do like i know people have an issue with it but i think that ultimately is something that works out well you know this is about mario you know exploring this world and i think ultimately in 64 you get that you go to these different areas and you get stars and has this very 3D feeling of you can go wherever you want. And I really like that about the game. Ultimately, what I think it falters is that some of the power-ups are misused. The wing cap as shown in the game's box art is really fun to use. I do like it. It's cool. But ultimately, all the other power-ups, I just don't think land a ton. It's a game that I think really establishes the 3D era and has a lot of great memorable boss battles and soundtracks and areas to go to but i just thinking it's missing a bit more of other elements i think other 3d mario games just hone in on a bit more um it's a game that i definitely admire for the steps it took and it's definitely a very nostalgic recognizable game that shaped mario but i think those games that just do what it does better super mario sunshine is one of those games i love this game i will go on record saying that sunshine is one of my favorites First of all, the world it creates is awesome. You're on this like vacation themed island, which is so cool. The soundtrack is super catchy. The music, you know, helps with that. The colors are so bright. It really goes into that theme of you're on this tropical island vacation gone wrong. I like how this game is kind of cartoony. It feels like you're playing through a Saturday morning cartoon. I like Flood. I think ultimately as a mechanic, it works out well and it helps boost the game. I think sometimes we're 64 falters of, you know, sometimes the power-ups and stuff. I think Sunshine does a better job of getting fun. And Sunshine just feels like more of a complete game. There's more of an identity with it. Okay, you know, on this tropical resort, you know, these areas like Bianco Hills with these cool windmills. You have Rico Harbor surfing on the squid. Peanut Park that's like an amusement park. There's so many memorable moments from sunshine i think every land you explore has something that sticks out to me and i played these games recently 64 does have some cool things about it. like i said there's a lot of great lanes and stars you have that 3d-ness but i think sometimes super mario 64 kind of loses track of its identity well i think sunshine just hones in on that better it's a game while playing through it you constantly have a smile on your face but sunshine is also difficult and if you mess up it's frustrating it's one of those games that you feel like that everything's super well earned. The voice acting, I think, is also really great. And I think it's a game that's just is elevated by everything in it. Um, you know, I love the Mario kind of bright colors and music that's upbeat and kind of has this goofy nature. And I think Sunshine does, in my opinion, the best job of that, representing it in game form. I think it's a game that's also very replayable as, um, you know... You can go and do things different ways. So Sunshine for me, I love it. It's S tier and it's one of my favorite Mario games of all time. You know, Flood, like I said, I don't mind. Even the blue coins, which are sometimes annoying to collect, I think add to the challenge of the game, which is an element I enjoy. So, yeah, I love Sunshine. I could go on and on. And then also joining in S tier is Super Mario Galaxy. Galaxy and Sunshine are very different, but they're very similar. They both are great at accomplishing a different theme. Galaxy is a space epic. Bowser has this UFO. He's kidnapping P Peach in the castle. He has all these power stars. Galaxy has an epic feel throughout. The score is fantastic. 
It sounds like a musical score you'd find in Star Wars. The music is fantastic. It's cinematic. The boss fights are fantastic. Going to these different Aryan worlds and creatures. You overall get that theme. And Martian Space seems like kind of a wacky idea. But it excels at the highest level. Besides that, the different power-ups. The bee mushroom that lets you fly around. The boo mushroom where you can flow. The ice flower, which is really cool. No pun intended. They're all great. The game has great motion controls with the Wii Remote. There's so many great things about Galaxy that really enhance you in this atmosphere. In my opinion, I might put it ahead of Sunshine. I, I, I The one thing about these two, because they're very similar, is I think Galaxy has more of kind of a consistent level of difficulty. I do like how Sunshine's a hard game, but sometimes in Sunshine you'll find a really hard level and it'll go really easy. I think Galaxy's a bit more consistent. I also think the cutscenes are better portrayed a bit more, but they're really close. Galaxy was the first Mario game I played, and I'm not just going off of nostalgia. It really intrigues me into this universe. There's so many recognizable things about it, and I think it's one of these games that really gets down its theming correct. Um, I'm not going to mention Super Mario 64 DS, by the way. I haven't played it. Um, so that's going to go unmentioned. Now I want to go to Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is an interesting game because this game had big shoes to fill after Galaxy 1. Ultimately, this is going to be an A-tier game. I'm going to put it ahead of 64. I, I think Galaxy 2, in my opinion, does some things better than Galaxy 1, but ultimately I think it falls short. One thing I like about Galaxy 2 is that for the most part it tries to be a different game. It has a brighter atmosphere. The story is a bit more fun. And I feel like overall Galaxy 2 is more of an adventure game in terms of the way it feels. With Galaxy 1, it's a very epic game. You're going to defeat Bowser. Galaxy 2 is very much the same way, but I feel like it's more adventurous, more akin to like Star Trek. There's a lot more galaxies, and I feel like there's just a lot more to do in it. And I do like that about the game. Um, you know, the way you explore galaxies and missions is different. I would say Galaxy 2 is a lot less epic, but it's very fun. And it's a game that growing up as a kid gave me that fun feeling of playing. It's a very fast-paced game, too. It's very akin to Super Mario World. And I think it's kind of ironic that Yoshi's in the game because Yoshi was in Super Mario World. He's in this game. It's a very fast-paced game. I feel like it's a game that is very fun and interject and entertaining. You have some new power-ups. The Cloud Fire, the Rock Mushroom are great. The only reason I don't have it S tier is that I think that it could have been a bit different than Galaxy 1. There's some callbacks I do like, but ultimately I think it was just had maybe another big element. There's a tease of like two players, as you see on the box art here with the two and the Luma. And basically what the second player does is basically just points the Wii Remote at the TV and can collect star bits and stuff. I think if they really had a great way of having two players... Galaxy 2 might rival the first one. Alrighty, then we go to Super Mario 3D Land, which is going to be C tier. I'm not a big fan of this game. It's on the 3DS, and the 3D is cool. That's great. I mean, it's good to have great 3D. Besides that, falters. All the other 3D Mario games, as I've said, have had these great themes and ideas. 3D Land doesn't have that. Just basic levels, a very basic story. It doesn't have an epic feeling. It's not overly fun. It's just kind of a bland game in the way it's portrayed. Uh, you have the power-ups. You have the Fire Flower, which is neat. You have the Tanuki Leaf Returning. That's neat. Okay. And it overall controls well. That's why it's not F tier. But it's just an okay game. You know, I had fun playing through on the 3DS when I first got it. You know, in the car. It's good for that stuff. But I think, ultimately, when you want to go to a 3D Mario game, um, I think that... You need to have things that up it to that standard. I just don't see that in 3D land. It's a game that's fun, but it's not really something that I'm going to remember. And a lot of people do not talk about 3D land a ton. It's a fun adventure. You know, it's entertaining to a degree, but it misses elements. And I think they could have done this thing like this half 3D, 2D thing. Kind of like have those combined, have this cool story, all the Sonic Generations. But it just fails to do that. It's a game that just doesn't really pop. And with 3D Mario, that's not a good thing. So yeah, it's C tier for me. 
Next up, Super Mario 3D World. When I first got this game, it was S tier. Then it was A tier. I'm going to go B tier. Um, so, I think there's some things that are fun. In Power Ups, you have Cat Mario. That's great. Multiplayer, that's a lot of fun. Chaos. You know, overall, the game's bright and colorful. And it has a more distinct world than, say, Super Mario 3D Land. So, improves on its predecessor. 3D World's kind of like a sequel. And I'll say, ultimately, it improves on 3D Land. So, it's better than the first one. So, that's good. Ultimately, though, I still feel like 3D World's is game they're still trying to figure out what it is multiplayer is very fun it's very chaotic but sometimes the way it's built is very weird because sometimes those are really small or they're really big and i just feel like it's not even also the power-ups are fun but it's way too focused on the cat suit and i would have liked to see the double cherry the other new power-up introduced more and used more in a, in a fun way um, also think 3D World could have had this really kind of unique levels. It's kind of in this, takes place in this Sprixie Kingdom, but it's so similar to the Mushroom Kingdom. There's really no difference. It's a game that is pretty fun, and I do think it has some great elements in it. Um, you know, the soundtrack is really good. The visuals are great. You know, there's some cool boss fights. There's some great levels. Like, there's some levels, you know, replaying through it on the re-release re re on the Switch. Oh, great. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. There's like... One on a Bowser train, there's this open savanna, this jungle cruise, it's like samurai temple. Like, these are really cool ideas. But, oh, you know, we're still held back by some of the other level design. It's a game that, here's the best way to explain it. You know, when I got the re-release, I was playing it like crazy. I'm like, this is pretty fun. This is great. There's some great elements. But I don't have the design to play it again. Also, I do think another thing with 3D World is it's pretty easy. The main adventure is easy. Yeah, okay, the bonus levels are kind of hard. But, I don't know. I got through it a bit too quick on replay. While Galaxy Sunshine 64 took me a bit more. So, it's B tier. It's definitely a game that I think has some great elements. But, it does have some flaws. So, ultimately, it goes B tier. And, then Super Mario Odyssey is so close for me between S and A. This is honestly... One that's really hard because for me there's some great, fantastic things. I love the story. Bowser is trying to, ki uh, you know, he kidnaps Peach and he's trying to marry her. So the story's upped, you know, and I overall like the theme of going to these different places and these different kingdoms. It's really neat. It's just like great adventure. It feels like kind of a old movie, you know. You also have Cappy who... Basically, you throw your cap at him, and you can take control of enemies or switches. It's really great. Like, that's awesome. Mario Control is really great. I haven't mentioned that a ton, but because that in, uh, in Odyssey, he just is so smooth. In my opinion, 64, Mario has great control, but in Odyssey, he really excels there, so I love it. The music is iconic. I would say Galaxies is better, but it's on par with Sunshine soundtrack. The bosses are really fun. The kingdoms, like I said, are great. It's so open. It's one of the most open 3D Mario games. What makes me hesitant to put in S tier is that sometimes I feel like the kingdoms sometimes have no direction. I think sometimes the open world is a bit too astray. With Mario 64, what I loved about it and why people love it is that there's this open worldness to it. But it's also kind of contained. So when you find something, it's like, oh, it's a cool secret. Sometimes in Odyssey, when you find something that's far off there, you're like, okay, that's neat. But sometimes it feels like there's just this thing out there for exploration. I hope that makes sense. I think Odyssey is very big in its ideas, and I think it executes on most of them. It's a very different 3D Mario game. And I think Ultima, I'm going to leave it in S tier, though. I think that it excels more than not. And it's a game that I think rivals the best 3D Mario games and some of the best Mario games. So ultimately goes S tier. I think it's a game that I like Galaxy better. Sunshine is close. They both do a great job capitalizing on the theme and ideas. It's like, I think Odyssey is better controls than Sunshine. And there's some fantastic moments in Odyssey. But I think Sunshine overall, I think, is better coherently. But overall, everyone, that's going to be the list. So it goes Mario Galaxy, then Sunshine, then Odyssey. These two are really close, so Sunshine and Odyssey. 
Galaxy 2 and 64 are close, but that's A tier. B tier is Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D Land is C tier. I haven't played that much of Bowser's Fury, um, which is kind of like a sequel to 3D World. It's fun, though. I'll play it probably B tier. But that does it. Uh, let me know what you all think. And until then, this is Tanner. Take care and have a good one.